Hi, I'm Marina, and I will be presenting my FYP entitled Work Life Balance, Work -life Balance and Its Impact on Employee Performance Among Millennials. So, let me start with the problem statement. So basically, work-life balance is the recognition of the employees towards the requirement of a balance between their work and also their personal life. So this research actually studies the impact of work-life balance specifically on millennial employees. Why? Because organizations are currently hiring more employees among the millennial generation. And the issue is that the current trend of hiring millennial challenges the organization where they have to strictly consider the work-life balance as something very crucial because the millennial employees, they always expect instant gratification. So this will impact the millennial employees' performance if their work-life balance is not taken into consideration. And how my research is different is that I extended the framework of the prior research by studying the supervisor support impact on millennials as such study has not been conducted before. And this study actually becomes significant to millennial employees, employers, and the business management students, the, the future researcher, how? By providing insight whether the supervisor support is really crucial for the millennial employee performance, apart from the flexible working hours and also the family leave program. And moving on to the research question. So basically, this research aimed to study what is the relationship between flexible working hours and employee performance, what is the relationship between family leave program and employee performance, and also what is the relationship between the supervisor support and the employee performance. So next is the theory and main variable definition. So the first theory is the social exchange theory, and the second one is the Hop Falls conservation of resources theory, or what we call COR theory. So both theories, they relate work-life balance to employee performance in, a, in quite a common way, I can say, where the employees perform well in return for work-life balance practices their employers offer to them or provide to them. And the flexible working hours is actually the work schedule arranged in a way that employees get to choose the number of working hours they work daily. And family leave program are programs which enable the employees to take leave for varied amounts of time to take care of their family duties. And the supervisor support is how the employee's immediate manager or supervisor behave in a way that it affects the employee's work-life balance. And lastly is the employee performance, which refers to the employee's capacity to do their tasks successfully uh, using the benefit that they were provided at work. And this is uh, as you can see here, this is my research framework. And this framework is a, uh, actually illustrates the, de the determinants of work-life balance, which affects the performance of millennial employees working at the private sector. And moving on, next is the hypothesis. So the three hypotheses derived, are, firstly, there is a positive relationship between flexible working hours and employee performance. Secondly, there is a positive relationship between family leave program and employee performance. And thirdly, there is a positive relationship between supervisor support and also employee performance. So these three hypotheses actually justifies the research questions mentioned earlier. And moving on to the measurements. So the nominal scale is used to measure the gender and ethnicity and the ordinal scale I use it to measure the respondents educational level and age. And the interval scale is used to measure the main concepts, which is the flexible working hours, the family leave program, supervisor support, and employee performance. And the internal scale used in this research is the five-point Likert scale. And moving on to the analysis tools. So the first one is the descriptive statistics, which is used to classify the respondents' demographic particulars. Then the second one is the reliability test, which is used to ensure that there are no error in the measurement method and to what extent the, measure, the measuring method actually shows consistent result when the test is conducted um, probably several times. And multiple regression is used to determine the relationship between employee performance with the other three independent variables of the research. And finally is the data collection where the target respondents are millennial employees who work in private sector in Malaysia and they are aged between 21 to 41 years old. And the data collection method is the online questionnaire, 
which is distributed to a minimum of 190 respondents. And each of them are given two weeks to complete the questionnaire. So that is all about my research, my FYP presentation. Thank you for listening.